Yeah, exactly. Oh Have a nice day. Okay, so London is miserable. It might be one of the wealthiest and most influential cities in the world, but it's also one of the least satisfied and most anxious places in the UK. At the end of last year, the UK's happiness index put people living here as lowest in terms of life satisfaction and highest for anxiety levels anywhere in the country. And for a city that earns on average the most income each year in the country, you may find that quite surprising. But I don't, not really. Big city living is depressing. So much to prove, such little time, and so little money. Living in London for the past few years has pretty much confirmed that for me. My guess is that much of London's success is actually based on the fact that people are miserable. If you're unhappy, you're always striving for more. So how can you find happiness in such a cutthroat city? I'm going to try and find out. We're just a group of friends and like-minded people who think the world needs brightening up, who think it's a good idea to be nice to one another. And we're going to be going on a kindness bus tour of London. We're going to be taking this monstrosity you're out on the road mm -hmm. and we're going to be stopping in different places and at every stop in London we're going to be doing some nice things. And hopefully bright colourful bus, bright colourful people will spread some happiness and maybe by the end of the day London will be a less miserable place. Yeah. So, brilliant, do you want to show me this? Yeah, come and have a look around. Now, I've got, to, I've got to say, this is a DIY project that Robert has been working on, so it's not 100 Is Robert this guy? Yeah, Robert the hey, red Robert. over there. Um, yeah. I'm going to show them one, then you guys Happiness, come on. yeah, there you go. So this is the Woolitzer Princess that was actually given to us by Woolitzer. Uh, this is the bar. You didn't know what it was a minute ago, but that is a flux capacitor. Oh, that's the flux capacitor, right. okay, it's the good. the thing that makes time travel possible. So this, this, is, this is the true test. So we're in the heart of London, near Piccadilly Circus. Give me something then, give me something. Oh, you've got your How are they going to respond to our force of kindness and happiness? We went around London's main attractions, spreading joy and happiness with our sweets and hugs. And ignoring the strange looks we got, it actually seemed to work. People who usually wouldn't even look at strangers, and who usually would look quite angry, actually spoke to us, gave us hugs and introduced us to their children. When you go home, you tell them English people are all miserable. Free hugs. Anybody want a hug? Does anybody want a hug? Let's have a hug. Come on, I hug. I hug in one of these. You want a hug? Non si capisce. I don't know. Just a hug. A hug. A hug. A hug like this. Oh god. The limit. We're not done until everyone's happy and it's a miserable place London, it's a miserable place the world and I think a lot of people need cheering up so we want everyone to join the Kindness Offensive in their own way and that could be phoning your mum right now after you watch this video, that could be helping a granny across the street when you think she needs a bit of help, it could be just smiling at someone on the underground so we're not done until it's a super happy, fabulous, fantastic world which we have the potential to make it. I had a good time. Uh, I don't know whether we made London, you know, a happier place. People seem to be having a great time. Some people, you, you always have those sceptics who weren't really sure what was going on, but there were happier people. Um, the question is, why do you need an army of people to make London happy? Um, I don't know that. Let's find out. there's a lot of overcrowding because right in your face you've got these multi-millionaires and you've got all the designer shops and all the opportunities to do these wonderful things but you can't do them. Is it something that's intrinsic and kind of 
bigger city environments because the happiest places are the Shetlands well, and Orkney Islands, I, which you know obviously have these kind of remote islands yes. have really small populations. It mm. makes sense to me for my understanding of the theory because I suspect they're very stable communities where they people trust each other, but they don't even lock their front door. So then, are we not saying that the key to happiness is kind of ignorance of? potential success. I do know one of the ways that people do it is try and readjust people's aspirations because if your aspirations are too high you're constantly failing, failing, failing. But if, you, if you're more realistic and you can be happy for its own sake rather than for achieving some goal mm -hmm. that's unrealistic then you're going to be much happier <laughs> aren't you? Next I'm about to meet a guy who thinks laughter is the answer to all of life's problems. He's definitely happy for the sake of being happy. He's a laughter yoga instructor who finds happiness in extreme laughing. He's also arranging what he says is the UK's first ever laughter mob. So basically the laugh mob is scheduled for 4 p.m. Uh, I kind of made kind of made Finley, who is the, the laughter yoga instructor. He was planning on doing a laugh mob anyway, but I kind of made him do it in a week so I could film it. Um, so I don't know if it's going to turn out well. It could be, um, could be a disaster. There could be nobody there. But you know, hopefully that's not the case. Have faith in happiness. You can even do it if you're at work and you're feeling a bit glum. You can even just do it completely silently, so no one even knows. So you just go under your desk. I don't think you two work at desks, but anyway, <laughs> then this and you can just. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter Yoga comes from Dr. Madan Kataria. Um, he was a physician in Mumbai in India, yeah. and uh, in the mid '90s, he became really interested in like what was the health benefits of laughter. And during his research, he'd found out that if you're just faking laughter, if you're just simulating laughter, if you're just <laughs> laughing for absolutely no reason, then it has exactly the same physiological effects. Make him laugh. 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 So let's have a look here. We've got the Father Christmas. Ho 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 ho. Ho ho ho. Do you always do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ho 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 ho. Nice, nice, nice. Very Father Christmas. Because arguably, yeah. being happy is annoying. Think about, think about this way, so I'm sitting on the tube, yeah, right? Yeah. I'm sitting on the tube. I'm having the worst day ever. It's a Monday. I'm ridiculously unhappy because life is just a bit bad at this moment yeah, in time. Yeah. And then someone, you know, for, for example, you sit next to me, and you're just going, <laughs> and then I'm sitting there, and I'm like, but my day isn't very good. And then, yeah. so it's kind of like these, so you know what I mean? Is it okay? It's obviously, it's okay sometimes to be unhappy. But that, yeah, absolutely. This isn't about, like, Oh, uh, we're wonderfully happy people and we laugh all the time, diddly hum. You know, it's not actually about that. It's like actually admitting that I'm, I've really struggled with some dark times, but, but I want some tools to be able yeah. to combat that. There's, there's research to suggest that two minutes really hearty laughter is like 10 minutes in the gym. What? Now, like, I what know for the abs one, though, you know, the abdominals. Yeah, yeah, that proper hearty laugh. But If you want to tone the biceps, you know, surely laughter isn't it. Just laugh at them. <laughs> So we, we're potentially going to have some difficulty with the with the break dances, but it seems like we've been given our, our window for the laughter mob, and it's going to happen. Hopefully, we've got a reasonable turnout. It's probably say 25 people. So now the time is nigh. It's four o'clock. Happiness. Here we come. Here we go. This is basically it. We're in a bit of a circle now. What we want to do is we're going to get into uh, little groups of twos. We're going to spread it out into this section. Are you ready? I can see you there. Let's have this. Come on. And so, I think the moral of this story is not that we all need to organise laughter mobs, 
or go around London giving people presents. But that we should just probably start spending more time doing nice things with our friends and family. And stop working so hard and so much. And probably start taking ourselves a bit less seriously. But then again, maybe being unsatisfied with our lives is how we push ourselves to be successful. Who knows? Oh.